yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. Once again, welcome. You. Right. <laughs> welcome all you lot out there in YouTube land. My name is Michael Salmon. This is Late to the Party once again. And uh, today I want to talk about privilege. Yeah. And before you get your neckies and twist, and I think you know who I'm, I think you know who I mean by you. <laughs> right. I'm not talking about white privilege. I'm going to be talking about privilege of class or financial, whatever you want to call it, right? And the examples that I want to use today, or the example that I want to use today, not the examples, I'm going to allow the second one. But the one I want to use today is the one of the case of Joshua Mulnar and Yusuf Mackey. Yeah? And basically, what's happened is Joshua... Mulner, yeah, sometime about a week ago, or no, so probably about two weeks now, stabbed his friend, his friend, whether they were friends or not, that's a whole different matter, but apparently friend, in the chest, hitting him in the heart and killing him dead. And for this, he served no jail sentence. No, he no murder. Oh, I think he might have got in custody for a bit, but as for being charged with murder and manslaughter, he walked. Could you believe that? Walked. How is that possible? Now, let me just give you a little rundown of Joshua's background. Right, his parents are rich rich right even though they're divorced yeah his mum owns a chain of nurseries or something like that and his dad is apparently some ceo of some company you know he's making the big bucks right so joshua has lived a privileged upbringing yeah not wanted for nothing gone on holidays all over the place apparently according to the reports and this is just according to the report from the, the daily mail and the guardian uh, and the son, yeah. He's had money. Money's never been an issue, never been a problem for this Joshua kid. Never been a problem, right? As for Yusuf now, Yusuf, may he rest in peace, he came from a council estate, yeah? And he's worked very hard to get into the position where he, uh, that where he won a scholarship to attend this high-end university, yeah? Uh, which is the same university or the same college or school or whatever it is that the Joshua guys attending. Now remember, Joshua, he got to, he, he got to, he got a passage or entitled he got a passage to that university through entitlement. Yeah, he's gone to the best schools, his parents know the best people, he rubbed rub shoulders with whoever. Whereas you uh Yusuf has had to work his nuts off and earn a place through merit to get there, right? So anyway, I'm not gonna like I said, I'm not gonna go deep into the story of the background. No, I'll leave a link in the descriptions below and you can check it out for yourself. Because I'm more interested in, in talking about the privilege. Right? And that is the reason why Josh avoided these charges of manslaughter and murder is because his parents were rich. They got dough. Yeah? And we kind of know that if the tables were the other way round or if they both come off a council estate, and this is why I say it's class privilege, right? If they both come off a council estate, then Joshua would be doing some serious bird right about now. He'd be doing at least 10, 15 or whatever it is for committing murder, or he'd be doing at least seven for committing manslaughter. I'm not sure on the numbers, but you know he'd be doing some kind of bird. So... The reason why he's not doing that is because his parents could afford some slickly ass slick lawyers that could that work the loopholes, that knew the ins and the outs. And he technically got off because the only uh, he was the only witness other than the person that was dead. Yeah, so the word is, is his word, it's Joshua's word versus Yusuf's word. And guess what? Yusuf's dead. Now, there is a third party there whose name couldn't be mentioned for um, his underage or something like that, right? What his involvement in the whole thing is very unclear, 
right? Whether he was there or not, I don't know. And apparently the whole thing started over a drug deal. Yeah, a drug deal gone wrong. Now, this don't make no sense for a start because if it was a drug deal, right, then you couldn't really say that Joshua and Yusuf were friends. Yeah, because they would, if they were both smoking together and enjoying themselves, they'd have gone to another party to get the drugs from. So where is this other party? No mention of it. Plus the fact that you have this Joshua guy also has a record or has a history, yeah, of being, uh, I won't say being violent, but has tendencies of being violent in which he's been shown that, you know, he likes to play with knives and he's got, you know, he's been, he's got little videos of him sh waving knives around and stuff like that. And, you know, there's a whole heap of history that he has that is, that is, shows violent tendencies. Let's put it that way. Whereas there is nothing to suggest that that Yusuf guy was any of, it was in any way inclined in that, right? Then you have the issue that because it's, um, because it's Joshua's word versus Yusuf and Yusuf is dead, the technicality is that, well, no one else is there to, prove, to, uh, to contest what Joshua is saying. So he can say anything that he wants. Yep, you know what? It was an accident. He, he, he claims that it was self-defense. He says that Yusuf pulled a knife on him first and he pulled his knife out and then in self-defense, he stabbed him in the heart. And because Yusuf's just not there to defend himself, then, it, well, in the eyes of the law, then, well, okay, then we'll just take your word for it. But for me personally, even if that is the law, he still stabbed and killed someone. So he still should have got manslaughter because it would have been accidental or it should have been accidental. Right, but again, that money brought that. Sorry, that money brought that privilege, and that, and for me, that's bang out of order. But let me know in the uh, comments below what you think, right? And I know I said I, I know I said I wasn't going to bring uh, race into this. You know, is a class thing, but I just wanted to end it on this. If Joshua hadn't been black. Would he have been able to get away with it that easily? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Michael Simon. This is Late to the Party. Don't forget to subscribe, share and all that good stuff. Yo, peace, I'm out.